Hi everybody, welcome to uh, a video on how I link my compressors. Now this will work for most people's compressors. Uh, the idea being that if you've got a compressor that um, is, you know, the pump's gone or the motor's gone or, or for whatever reason isn't working, uh, obviously it's not going to work if it's not holding air uh, because the uh, the vessel, the uh, tank is, is fractured. But it works for uh, compressors that the, the, the tank is in good condition. Uh, and, and you know holding air properly you can link another compressor to it so the one compressor fills the two up or you can have two compressors running at once if you've got the power supply and the, the need um, but normally just one compressor will be fine so I'm going to turn the camera around the other way uh, now this is my, my compressor and a new a new one I've got now the idea of this I've actually removed the cover there should be a cover on there but I'll show you why later the idea is that here, there's two outlets here. You'll see here, one there and one there. This outlet runs effectively around the garage. It's a, it's a pipe, it's about 50 foot long. And the idea of that is to trap any, any moisture, or not trap any moisture, to collect any moisture uh, before it gets to the, the filter. Because if you have a filter too close to the compressor, and by that I don't mean physically too close, I mean too close airline wise to the compressor, you're not going to trap much uh, water because it hasn't had a chance to condensate. It needs it needs time because when it comes out it's warm, so the, the moisture is in the air. Uh, and then when it gets further away, because it's had a chance to cool down, it becomes water and then it, it sticks to the, the side of the uh, pipe. So every now and again you need to uh, just... Get, get the pipe with nothing on the end of it, so no filter or anything, and just run the air through it, and it takes the water out with it. And, of course, you need to drain the tank uh, normally every day. Uh, the tank at the bottom of your compressor, if you don't know how to do that, uh, we'll, we'll have a look in a minute on the other one and just uh, show you what, what, uh, what you need to do to drain it. So the idea is I've got a 50-metre pipe, sorry, 50-foot pipe going out, uh, now this is a two outlet compressor so this one i'm using as an outlet this one i'm using <clears throat> as an outlet at all as well but that one isn't going uh to any power tools or, or spray guns or anything like that it actually goes along under my spray table to another compressor and so this is the other hose you saw and what it does is it goes into this compressor. So this compressor stays off. The other compressor comes on. And when it comes on, the other compressor, the other compressor fills this compressor. So it's, it's filling both of them up. So you're effectively increasing the size of your tank. So this is a 50 litre. The other one's a 90 litre. So it becomes a 140 litre tank. Um, the things to watch when you're doing this is be careful on your uh where are we you'll see there it says ps 10 bar ph 15 bar so the, the, what it's been it's been tested to 15 bar uh as a like an ultimate test but it, it's working pressure is 10 bar or below you want it below really not loads below but enough below i've set this to eight and a half uh, bar and the reason I've set it to eight and a half bar is because the the pressure relief valve which is this thing here let's touch the torch away the pressure relief valve which is this thing here is is fingers is set to eight and a half bar so if you try and put too much into this compressor it will just blow this valve anyway and the valve blows out and, it, and lets the uh, excess pressure out so you'll never get anywhere so always make sure that when you're looking at these these pressures uh, that you go below the working pressure of your cylinder now this is a 2018 cylinder so it's quite new but if you're working with older cylinders it's best to get it tested uh, before you go too mad with it, just in case it's got a fracture in it, fracture in it, because these these have water, they get condensation inside, like we were talking about earlier, uh, and they're effectively steel, 
or cast iron I think they are um, steel steel or cast iron depends on which one you've got and they will they will rot from the inside so it might look alright on the outside but the it's continually being able to hold less and less pressure and the last thing you want is for one of these to properly explode which they can do so you need to be really careful about these pressures that you're working with and satisfy yourself that what you're doing is 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 capable of being done but if you if you do do it you, you get quite a good reward especially if you've got a got an old compressor that you don't use or can't be used um, and you've got a, another compressor that you want to and you can you know top one up with the other and it gives you it gives you much longer running times on your spray guns or your, your power tools or whatever you're using so it works works really well and with this one this one uh pops out at eight and a half bar my new one which we go back to pops out at uh 10 bar so what i was finding with this is when this was running out of here uh, th these these controls, by the way, you, you have on the receiving compressor, you have fully open so that it can it can receive all the air, um, and on the outlet here as well, fully open so that it lets all the air out. Otherwise, you'll be keeping one compressor down, uh, and it, it won't top up properly. So you need the, the pipes fully open. Uh, so with the, with these. Uh, I was finding that this one was pumping up and the other one, the pressure relief valve, this valve here we were talking about, this valve here, which is on the other one, that was popping out because this, this pressure relief valve is set for 10 bar and the other pressure relief valve is set for 8.5 bar. So what I've had to do, and that's why this cover was off, um, because this is the third time I'm making this video, believe it or not, um, there's an adjusting screw here you'll see it says plus or minus minus and plus and this bolt here or this nut here bolt i guess uh you turn that either clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the pressure of your vessel and or not pressure of your vessel the cutoff pressure of your vessel uh on your compressor so if this is too high for the other one this will keep running this pressure relief valve here won't cut out but the other one will cut out so you'll get you'll get nowhere so you need to set as i was saying before you need to set your compressor uh to the to the the, the lowest capacity uh, compressor you've got but the tank capacity is worth it if you can get that extra tank capacity it's worth it but do pay, pay attention to the different uh, pressures on these uh, tanks and make sure if, if you're at all uncertain of your tank that you get it tested um, and let's just quickly run round to I'm, I mean I'm presuming everybody knows this but just in case people don't know it uh, underneath your compressor You can see it there it is you've got that valve there and if you loosen that valve off he says i'm just gonna have to move the camera a bit now that's about three days worth of water and you need to let that water out daily really because otherwise that just goes down the air line and it's if you've got a water trap then it's fine but it puts the water trap under a lot of pressure to work well if there's so much water coming through so i'm sure you all know that anyway let me just turn that off um so that's about it really